Hi, this is Anthony Gerge with DeBrawl's Labyrinth Video Report 2. Over the last two weeks, I've been working in level development primarily, although I've also touched some on scripting and lighting once more. So, as far as level development goes, I have added seven levels to the game. I have added Hall 1, World 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 2.1, 1 .1, and 2.2, as well as some basic building blocks which I used to sculpt out my future levels. And I've added those to worlds 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2 to show y'all what that looks like from my side of things before a level is complete. For scripting, I modified the mobile shader slightly just so that way it adds tint to it. And I've replaced all of the tune materials with my custom shader. So it's a big change from the previous look and style of the game where it was all toony to the... I'm switching to a more realistic version where we'll actually have shadows portrayed in the environment and everything else, but that's more into lighting. As far as scripting goes, I've also added in some logic for exit gates, for loading from those exit gates, logically disabling objects, moving platforms, and I've switched the camera and camera parent objects to now update in the regular update rather than the fixed update I was previously using. This change was just because if you turned your head left to right, up, down, or whatever, with the VR headset, it looked very different whenever you moved your character. This was because the VR camera is unchangeably set to update in regular update, so there was a confliction between what updated when, and there needed to be consistency. So I added the consistency, and it's caused a few issues, but I'm working those out. They're really not that bad, and the game looks much nicer, and you don't get nearly as nauseous over a long period of time. As far as lighting goes, I've replaced, again, all the tune materials with the custom shader. So, we can expect shadows and everything else to be present, and I will be baking the lighting in every scene to maintain performance. Right now, for all the scenes that I currently have, I've already done this, and they look, in my opinion, much better than how they did with the tune lighting. I am not including shadowed, like, spotlights or anything in the scenes right now, just because that'll be a part of the art phase where I really go in and polish every level up to make it look really nice. But, shadows and everything will be used, and they'll be baked into the scene as usual, as far as performance goes, this has actually reduced the performance hit I was taking because I'm baking each, baking the lighting for each and every scene. I am using light probes as well, so that way each moving object, so for example if you're carrying a ball, it'll look way more natural as you see the lighting shift, and I'll show this in the video right about now, but you'll see the lighting shift from dark areas to light areas as you carry something across the environment. That's about it for this last two weeks. Over the next two weeks, I'll be working again for one week on finishing up some of the other levels. I expect there to be a total of about 15 levels in the final game. Right now, I have seven knocked out. And I'm going to be moving on to art, so we'll get to see a lot of changes to the different textures I'm currently using, as well as the look and feel of the game from a lighting perspective, and like menus and other art-related stuff So I'll be working on over the next couple weeks. So... Thanks for dropping by, and I'll update y'all in another couple weeks.